It was the start of another day on Little Brook Farm. In the vegetable garden, the farmer was tending his cabbages and carrots. Across the farmyard, Fifty the tractor was helping Wally tidy up behind the barn. It was hard work. The place was packed and stacked with posts and pipes and planks. Wally was so busy, he forgot to feed Peggy the pig her morning breakfast. Poor Peggy. She was very hungry. Her feeding trough was completely empty. There was just one tasty snail crawling out from under it. But it was a very small snail, and Peggy was still hungry. Time for breakfast, called the farmer from the back door. Peggy was delighted. But it was breakfast time for Wally, not for Peggy. Poor Peggy is very hungry, said Fifty. We could go and get her an apple, said Norris. Peggy likes apples. Good idea, said Fifty. And off they went to get Peggy an apple from the orchard. There were no apples left in the orchard. Poor Peggy. She wanted some breakfast very badly. Peggy is going to be very disappointed, said Fifty. And very hungry, said Norris. Can we find her something else to eat? What about some crunchy snails, said Fifty. Where will we find snails, said Norris. I think some snails have found us, said Fifty. Indeed they had. A whole tide of snails was heading across the yard. I wonder where they're off to, said Fifty. The vegetable garden, said Norris. Oh dear, said Fifty. They'll eat the farmer's cabbages and carrots. Not if Peggy eats them first, said Norris. <laughs> Good idea, said Fifty.
In no time at all, Peggy had crunched her way through every last snail. Are you nice and full? said Fifty. Yes, thank you, said Peggy. And full she was. Very slowly, Peggy climbed back up the seesaw rail. Be careful, said Fifty. I will, said Peggy. All under control. Whoops! That went well, don't you think? said Fifty. Yes, said Norris. Very well indeed. A short while later, out came Wally with breakfast leftovers for Peggy. This will be interesting, said Fifty. Very interesting. Here you are, said Wally. Time for breakfast. Goodness, you look full up already. And so she was, full as a football and very, very happy. It had been a big breakfast beginning to another day of hard work on Little Brook Farm. <laughs>